Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Conquest Recruitment Swap. So today you should notice something different. Uh, Somi's here. This is a new VTube model. It was made by someone by the name of, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Nonco Cannon. Uh, they upload it to Reddit and their Twitter, and they made this model. So yeah, it's Somi here. Uh, and our question is, do we want to keep Somi for a while? The thing is, Somi is actually a 2D model, so I had to use a different program to get him than Daisy, because Daisy is 3D. So I might actually be able to interwork something where I can get both running at the same time. Um, but yeah, so for now we use Somi, and there are some other things with him. Sometimes you can give him glasses. Uh, there are these eyebrows, but sometimes whenever I take them off, like, you can still kind of see them a bit, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with this. And, of course, you can make him head only, but I like having his cute little body there. So, we can, uh, just maybe change him up a little bit from time to time, but I'll just keep him normal for now. Alright, so, back to the game. Uh, whenever I play Engage, I'm definitely using Somi. I upgraded this to level 3, so whenever we come back, maybe we'll see Flora or whoever her, uh, counterpart is, but I really don't think there's anyone else besides Yukimura. Um, Izana should be himself. That's the hot springs. I'm really not going to bother with that. But anyway, we're going on to Paralog 2 to get Kana. Yeah, we'll have made Kana the star of this video, but unfortunately Somi is here, so he is uh, taking priority. Somi's mouth doesn't really match mine. He kind of just, like, holds it open, but that's okay. It's kind of weird to have a talking dog thing, and I'm certainly not going to make arfing noises during this, uh... Sorry about that. But Kana's here. Um, I gave her Vantage and Dragon's Vein, uh, Dragon's Vein, or Dragon Fang Vantage. Um, but we're really not going to use Kana, I don't think. Uh, and I don't really have room for her on my team. I guess Kana would probably look the same if you did marry Hannah. Her hair is a little bit darker. Um, but as far as I need to go, I'm actually going to bench Kaldori and these two because they are quite a bit... I leveled. Um, I want to bring Satsuma so Ryoma can pair up with him. Uh, this map, sometimes I, I typically like to do it whenever it's early game. Some of these guys aren't promoted. Unfortunately, here they all are. And if you let this map drag on too long, uh, it'll turn into reinforce again. And so I do like to finish it quickly, but I don't know how that will go here. So Hinoka and Kaden, I believe they're at a B. Don't think we'll get their child before the next map. Uh, they should do well on the side with all of the mages and sword masters, as should you two. I'm just gonna put you up here, put Hinoka like right here. I might want to make use of the dragon's vein in this one. I typically don't, I just like to run over the water, but eh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. These are snipers, so they are pretty scary. I might just have Ryoma help out up here for uh, the beginning. I. Yeah, this one could be quite tricky if I could actually get this correct. <laughs> okay. And then Hayato and Sakura, I definitely want to uh, get going. Their kid's paralog is extremely easy. Mm, I guess that's good. I'll oh, we'll just leave them how it is. Uh, yeah, so I guess I could maybe utilize the the dragon vein just to keep things off of us. This one might. It could be very short. It could be very long. I don't know. Some of you do like longer videos. The Bandit Twins are also a thing on this map. After turn, like, I don't even know, 12 or something, they'll show up over here. Uh, Maggie and Rose of Fates, they are present in this map. I do, yes, they are actually capturable in, um, if you have the prison, but I'm not really going to bother. We'll just make a save in case this goes poorly. Okay. Yeah, Kalori, not here, but that's fine. Right, so, um, I guess Azura's first job will be to... Fun as it would be to like use her. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and keep us safe on the dragon vein. Well, the river choke point. I guess the theme of this map is supposed to be like a, uh, I don't know, some kind of rice patty. It looks like there's uh, more and more care. Mm, that's not too bad. Um, I could just have Ryoma hit this one. Ryoma did have some scares back in chapter uh, 18. I'll keep Rinka here with our shuriken. Um, right, so we have all these mages. The sword masters really can't do anything now that I've put the river up. Uh, Saizo just promoted. Last time I do have a master seal on Hayato in case he 
Uh, Max is out. I think this side will be good. I'm just gonna have Hinoka. Take her javelin, equip that. As long as you actually. Okay, thought you might have had a bow. And I guess Arachi can start working on you. You kind of aren't really. You know, if the horse spirit you do, you're absolutely pathetic. Doing nothing. Okay, what does Corrin want to do? I don't know. These guys are kind of scary. Um, Azama's over there, so maybe I just kind of lock these two out of uh, doing anything, which is kind of unfortunate, but I guess you can block off this bit. I know Kana will go out and attack if she, um, if something does get close to her. Okay, well, that was all pointless, but we can kill you next turn because your healer decided to first. Darkflyer gets Scale Force at level 35 in this game, and the way it activates is they can't have any support, meaning no pair-up. Don't think they can dual strike, so she would kind of have to be on her own if we wanted to take advantage of that. But there are some situations in late-game Conquest where I think Scale Force does come in handy. It certainly helped me out in my own uh, lunatic run. Uh, having Leo, like, swoop in and out of danger in certain places. Okay, much better for you to get the critical than him with the 1%. Yeah, I just thought this would be a good map to get all of the, um, uh, pairings going. Well, she's guarded now, and you just, yeah. Ah, sigh. Okay, well, the Falcon Knights are already incoming. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Um. Alright. I didn't think they'd move so quickly. I mean, Corn does okay against them, but yeah. And I sent Sakura this way. Of course I did. We can go with this. The Shrine Maiden really isn't that much of a threat right now. Um, my main concern is Ringa. You're no match for me. If Worst Clem's the worst, I could just promote Hayato before the map. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. Um. I mean, Rinka does get guarded from this. Fortunately, you're like right in my way. I would love Ryoma to just come down and help out. Um, she will be safe if I Let's see how Ryoma does down here. He kills this one pretty easily. I don't think the other one's in range of Hayato. No. Uh, is in range of Azura, which is a bit scary. Alright, so I think what we'll do... I'm gonna kill you. Because Rinka is going to get protected no matter what. Although that's kind of a crappy hit, right? <laughs> I just want this lady to move so we can get this archer out here. She's guarded, so she'll be safe if one thing attacks her. Hayato... He's got nine defense. Uh, he should be okay. Ryoma can go and take on this. He might aggro out these bowmen, though, which is kind of a pain. This is one of the problems of filling up the moats. I could go back here, though. Um, even though Satsuna seems like she would be the best candidate, I, once again, rather just use this kid as his para partner. I will not lose. I don't even have a bow equipped on her. That's kind of bad. Um, Hinoka might actually be able to help us out with this too. She can actually just get rid of you.
Corn doesn't do that well. If she goes for Canna, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'd like Kanoga maybe take out that. Rock can just move back and take care of these guys. Oh, by the way, uh, someone commented that I'm pronouncing her. Her name is like Warachi, I think, like Wars and Boat, but uh, I don't play heroes. I don't listen to their names. Uh, I've kind of called them what I've been calling them since like the game came out. It's kind of hard to break certain habits when you've been calling a character something for so long. Like if you uh, if you've ever played FE4, uh, there's a Pegasus in that game called. I believe her new name is called Aaron. I'm just gonna equip the Dragonstone on you and come back here. Her name is called um, Aaron in the new translation patch, but in the old one it was Fury, I believe it was pronounced, so it's kind of hard to start calling her the new thing when you've been using the old patch so long. Sometimes it happens whenever um, patches and things like that get dropped and they do a better job localizing, but you're kind of still stuck with the old name in your head. It happens to some FE6 characters like Thanny Shayna. I remember I played like an old patch for that too. Okay, you will die this turn. Are you alright? Yeah, it looks like these are canals made to irrigate rice, so pretty neat to see that. This does look like a Hoshiden uh themed map. Kind of like curl up one. I won't surrender! Okay, yeah, he's not gonna do it with Kana because she's kinda in that stupid enraged form that he had back in chapter four, I believe it was. Or five. Yeah, Kana can handle these things herself pretty well at least. Kanahana should be pretty fun to use. Um, I'd love to get Azora doing something. I'd love to get Ryoma just taking out these stupid Pegasi. Uh, that one is not getting doubled. What about the other one? Neither of them are. Ooh, I'd like to promote you, actually. Unfortunately, um, Rinka really can't... Well, maybe Rinka can actually, like, get you. Uh... I guess our best bet is the Raider Axe. Don't think she's in range. Yeah, they're not in range of her. Rinka and Ryoma were pretty good duo last time, but I'd rather keep people with their uh, own partners. Izama needs to get off of her to heal. Okay. Right, so. keep you locked on since you're what? closest to us. Delightful. I believe these enemies may have Void Curse too when they, uh, when the reinforcements start. They do in Siegbert's Paralogue, I know, but that might, in this Paralogue it might be a lunatic thing. I'm trying to remember if it is. You do six damage with the bat. Her Naginata is not bad either. Um, still want Hinoka to be in range of anything else. Taking out one at least would be pretty good. I'm gonna have Ryoma help out. And building up a guard meter against him, of course. Very helpful. How much does Hinoka take from these two if I Iron Lance? Okay, that's fine. If they go for Kana, that's fine. I don't care if she uh, steals my XP. But Not Somi is my enough. child now. Um, as stupid as this might be, just to give Korn a para partner. Uh, I guess I could also maybe... If I go next to Corrin, 
Oh, I can't really get in there. I don't want him in range of two things. So I'm just gonna promote him now. So I usually like to go into Omniology for him. But Sakura will probably go into that as well. And Obro, of course, wants to be a Spear Fighter. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, it does have a lot more defense for a mage. Doesn't give too much more magic. But um, if we want to put a Spear on him, it... Yeah, a lot more strength. So let's try this out. I don't typically use this class a lot. It kind of looks really hideous with this uh, bow behind it. This purple and white thing. I think aside from the healers, that's the last promotion we'll probably do. I might just early promote them for the heck of it. I kind of want another fighter on my team. Two more fighters. Lances, but I uh, don't have one on him. Although I could... Go to the convoy and grab maybe like a, a bronze and brass Naginata are like the only thing. Trying Kate. Definitely won't bench you, though, because I want your kid as soon as possible. I'd love to get her before this next map, but I, I don't see it happening. Unless I get, like, a Seed of Trust, maybe, and unlock another Paralog. I believe I am pretty close to the Tharja clone, which is attached to Hayato. What? Yeah, not that great, but defense on her is always nice. I think that's, like, your first or second level up you ever got, but it's fine. Okay, these guys are diverting, which might be a really good thing. Um, not safe for Arachi, though. Would like to try out our new shiny Hayato promotion. Yes, I do. <laughs> Putting Somi up here. I think if I, like, squint really hard, maybe his brows will appear. They were in the program, but they're not doing as much here. They just randomly appear on his face. Well, I guess the brows are a popular, uh, thing. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that is, like, the most immediate threat, I'd say. Um, have to deal with these sword masters, though. I'm pretty sure they will... ...destroy Arachi. Um, not too bad. Uh, how does Saizo do against them? Doesn't do too bad, either. Uh, I guess we can put Saizo maybe in range of one of them with his... Which one is his crit weapon? I can never remember. It's the bar, but okay. Um... I'd get corn out here, too, to help deal with them. Yeah, this water white makes it a lot harder, unfortunately. Yeah, Hinoka. Perfect candidate. She really does uh, dominate this side of the map. Much more in Camilla, because Camilla, of course, doesn't really like magic when I reclass her to a Wyvern Lord. Way, in case you're wondering, I don't really have a pair partner for Azura. I don't. I do like her kid a lot, but I don't really have a partner for her here. Yeah, Hanoka actually doubles these guys. A good effort. Ugh, that's really annoying. The 
Grim Yardo actually one shots this guy, it's kind of funny. I guess you'll be my para partner. I could bark Kaldori all along, but oh well. Maybe I can dance for someone once we uh, finally get more control on this map. So I can actually walk on the water. None of these are quite high enough. I could maybe, at the very least, try and crit you. Hinoke in there, but I think they've got it over here. Um, so the spear fighters... They do have weapon triangle over magic, so I'm gonna go in here with the brass Naginata. And there's a lot of bows down there, so not quite that great for Hinoka. Um, maybe Ryoma can come in here too. Get Rinka a bridge. Maybe Kana will help me. No need to work. Okay. Could go for this. We'll just team up on this guy and kill that Claire oh after the, this. Or never mind. Sizo can just destroy it. There's another. Pretty good. Uh, actually, I'll let Azura do something. Might be more beneficial to have a Rachi on front so we can get over the water quicker. Oh. I mean, that's the same with any flyer in a pair up game. Uh, this is more accuracy. Always go for the accuracy. Fascinating. If there'll ever be a version of this model that'll allow scarf color changes. Uh, okay, so I could help out Tayato. Red Rinka coming along nicely. Nice to see Rinka being useful. She's not the first choice a lot of people would use in a Fire Emblem game, that's for sure. Could have... Uh, just top him up a little bit. Just to get Zalma some more XP. silly animation when they have tones. Yeah, but someone like Obro would obviously be a much better physical version of this class, but anyway. Uh, let's see how Hinoka can maybe not lure out these guys. Get rid of the one that I can actually Uber hit chance on. I think you're dead without Asher there. Sorry. Okay, so. 
yeah, taking out these guys would be really helpful. Let's see what you're doing there. Maybe we can do this before reinforce again. It wouldn't be a bad thing per se, but uh, okay, you just went up to Ryoma. And now you've proved your last because you went for Ryoma. You do quite a number two Hayato. And we miss, pretty cool. Alrighty then, so let me see if I can have Rinka actually help out. That should seal his resistance, actually, so. gonna have to let these two work on because I need Ryoma to I think I'll just keep the rat equipped um, he can go for Rinka too uh, actually this as long as these archers aren't in range of the other nowhere near Karachi. This guy's very scary. All in the cards. All right. So Ryoma, I'm gonna have you do the honors and try to take out this Yumi guy, and then Hinoka can. If she doesn't have a hundred percent hit chance, I'm probably not gonna risk it because I know she'll get one shot in probably. <laughs> not bad. I think the objective of this map is to route, yeah. So we can't just kill him and be done. Uh, let me see how badly you. Not even close. Um. Yeah, that's not enough. Probably just gonna back off a bit. They'll probably both die to Ryoma. Easy. I mean, it would have been better on someone else, but whatever. He's gonna carry us in the end game, let's be honest. I can you. Uh, are you okay? You die! I don't get to check if we get floor after this, hopefully. I will not lose. Alright, seven turns, pretty good. Uh, actually that might went faster than when I played in the early game. Uh Kana's here, we really don't care. Sorry. I'm I'm not the biggest fan of Kana. They're just very obsessed with corn like everyone else in this game. And Floor is here, so. <laughs> to those of you who are asking about Flora a couple of chapters ago, yeah, she's still here. So, being that she is a Norian character, I will not use her, um, funnily enough, because I never really use her. Obligatory parent-child supports. Uh, Hinoka Ryoma. Uh, size up to an A, really good. His kid's paralog's a bit weird, but... I think if the kid escapes, you can uh, actually game over in that. And Kaldoran cancel. No, no supports this time. I think the closest is probably Hayato and Sakura. So we might unlock the Rahat Paralog after the um, after the fox slaughtering, which should be pretty funny for uh, Kaden to fight himself. Would be funnier if his daughter went in there. Hi, Kaden. It's actually useful. So I will see you next time and let me know if you'd like to keep Sami around for a few more chapters.